This tutorial will show you how to program the 10 input buttons on the program and preset rows to allow uh, separate user-selectable user inputs, up to 20 inputs. So using the shift key, we can, we can get up to 20 inputs on the 10 buttons. Um, the actual ATM switcher itself in this one here is a 2ME, can actually have 37 inputs, uh, which you can display if you're using the Telnet connection that's connected to the controller. And I'm just going to type in, uh, you can type in D for, D for display the directory. And then I'm just going to type in N for naming, uh, display the names. And there you can see there's 37 different selectable inputs that are available to the cross points on the switcher. Um, the way it normally works is that you press um, individual buttons to get your normal inputs um, and preview buttons to get your individual preview inputs um, and then if you use the shift key um, by holding your finger on the shift key I've got to do this one handed which is a bit tricky I can actually then go say select input 9 which then becomes the shift uh, key to whatever input 9 is programmed to as a shift function and input 10 you can see up here I can switch between these two inputs which are known as 19 and 20 now all those in all these inputs are programmed using um, a shift key and pattern number 9 oh, sorry pattern number 7 and um, that then flashes um, and all the lights go off on the panel waiting for input. Now the Telnet display has, has come up and displayed the current um, 10 inputs unshifted and then the 10 inputs that are shifted. Now we can program any one of those and in program in programming them we can also it'll also set the individual multi-view boxes to the inputs that we want so that if you want to program inputs 1 to 8 as we program it will also reassign the inputs to these boxes here. Now the way we enter the programming mode as we, as we said is by hitting the shift button which is edit or enable and button number 7 on the patterns and as I said all the lights have gone off so now we can select which button we want to reprogram. And I'm just going to do, start off with, say, button number one. In pressing button number one, it flashes now. And in flashing, it's come up and shown us over here on our display. It says button number one is selected to input number two on the ATM itself. Now also, the Telnet display has also shown us that it says that it's select input for button and it tells you the camera number you probably won't be able to see that too well because it can't focus but anyhow so uh, once that's flashing it's indicating that it's ready for input to change so all we have to do is come over here and we can change whatever input we want it to be assigned to now as we're changing the input we can also go down but as we're changing the input it automatically displays it on the preview row whatever source is there or blacks at the moment so there you go there's an input and it automatically puts it assigns it into the correct multi-view box so if I want now say that input to always be on that which just so happens to be input 10 it's coming in on input 10 of the ATM I've now programmed that to be on this very first button so once I'm happy with that, I can just go and select the next button. I'm going to go and change button number two. And I can then change the input here again. As you can see, it says button number two was on number three. So I can then keep going. And as I keep switching it up here, I'll just show you that it's actually going through all the different sources. That's the, We've already got that one, so let's go to the next one. And there you go. That's now a second input programmed into input button input number two here and as I said it's also reassigned the multi viewer so that that input will show up correctly so subsequently you'll have inputs one to eight 
of the multi viewer will always correspond to buttons number one to eight. And then if you've got a 2ME, um, then buttons nine to 16 will show up on the second multi viewer, which I won't show you, but trust me, it does. Um, now, you can actually go back and uh, select input number one just to confirm that it's what you selected. There's button number two. And then you can proceed to go and do all the other buttons as required. Now, to program the shift function, being the secondary inputs, the inputs 11 to 20, the, the preset row will assign inputs to 11 to 20. And if I go back to here, you'll see that the display says 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Um, and you can see there input 20 is selected input 22 on the ATM. And again, as you're switching, it changes the uh, preview row so that you can see it. And it'll also, if you're looking at the second multi-view, it'll show you on that input as well. And once you've finished programming all the buttons, is all you do is you hit enter. The lights will stop flashing and everything comes back to normal. And then the panel will start operating as per normal. And if you hit the control button, as I mentioned before, sorry, the shift button, it will then go to the second lot of inputs. Now, this, these inputs also will be the same inputs on the preview. But there's a totally different inputs available for the key row, which I will show that in another tutorial. I hope you enjoy.